Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this hump day. We are already in the midst of the workout. Again, I wasn't going to shoot anything, but I thought, why the heck not? Uh, I enjoy kind of doing the commentary thing. So by the time we pick up here, we are on my first set of 315. And uh, this is going to go pretty decent. Uh, not too shabby. Uh, of course, I always want to get more reps, but uh, sometimes that don't happen. But later in the video, you never know what might happen. So stick around. So uh, today is chest and leg day. Uh, if you know my routine and my new routine and, and all that stuff keeping up, then you know today is legs and chest. So uh, I did legs and chest also on Monday. So that was 315. Now we're up to 355. Hitting the old 355. Now I want to get this for three reps. Uh, I did three reps way back in the day between 2007, 2010, somewhere in there. I did, uh, I was able to do three reps with this, but I also found that I think I, well, number one, I wasn't quite as injured in my shoulder, my arm area, but also I felt a little bit more fast, like a little bit more explosive back then. You know, I'm a little older. So uh, I went ahead and I put a five on each end, so we're up to 365, and I wasn't exactly sure. Uh, I was confident in the in the beginning, and then I laid down and I, I started getting a little bit worried, a little paranoid, because, you know, I never know what my shoulder is going to do. You never know what's going to happen day to day, and no, I don't have any spotter arms, and I don't have any people there or anything. You notice I didn't exactly touch my chest, which actually is more difficult than touching your chest, because most of the time people bounce. So, uh, technically, that's a pretty good rep right there. So you'll see I went back down to 315, and I'm happy with that 365. It looked pretty good to me. Uh, so we're going back down to 315, and I told myself, self, come on now, let's get eight. Let's get eight of these bad boys. And then myself inside, I was like, I don't know, man. I'm getting tired. So uh, not too bad, though. I get one more on this set than I did the last set. You'll notice my weights are getting a little wobbly right there. That's because my arms are getting a little bit wobbly. But uh, we get six reps on this one. I believe that was six. Heck, I don't know. I lost count. But, uh, you know, even I know whenever I get a little wobbly wobbly, I kind of give the old hand at the end. And uh, we're finishing up on chest with 225. And, uh, of course, you know, 225 is what we usually finish off as. Finish off with, uh, with chest. Or, or me, anyway. Not, not everybody. So... I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do here if I wanted to go all crazy and get my big crazy 20 rep set or if I wanted to kind of keep it mid, mid tier, mid level crazy. So uh, I think I just get 12 reps here. And, uh, felt pretty good though. Pretty happy with that set. Overall chest day was a success in my humble opinion. And now we're moving on over to legs. And uh, by the time I start filming here, we're at 225. It's my first set of 225. Well, my only set. So I did 135 and 135 for warm up, just sets of six. Now we're up to uh, the 225. And uh, I felt pretty good. Of course, I'm never going to be perfect at squats. Uh, I just don't have a squat body, uh, <laughs> a body that can just do squats real well. I do pretty good on my Smith machine because I can lean into it and not have to worry and uh, just really you know let it do its job and I do my job and you know we kind of we have a good little marriage together me and the, me and the Smith and, uh, but I do pretty good here I go I go pretty parallel I'd say not too bad not too bad right there and uh, then we go up to 315 and uh, of course I'm keeping my reps pretty low today uh, Monday I did my squats on the Smith machine and I kept it lightweight and, light, and high rep so uh, today I just wanted to do uh, kind of lesser reps and see what I could do, see how confident I felt. And I'll be honest, I felt really, really good doing these squats. And uh, this 315, I was surprised how good it felt even just coming off the rack there. Pretty happy. And you'll notice I'm wearing my shoes. Typically I'm in my socks or barefoot, but these shoes have zero soles to them. They're like super flat. See, I'm pretty good. That's not going to win me any contest, but if you'll notice, I'm not in a contest. I'm just at home. So, uh, oh, that was a pretty decent little rep. Now what we do, we went up 
uh, to 365, and I haven't done this in a while, and uh, I feel pretty confident after that 315, because that 315 felt pretty good. And 365 is about my cap that I can get to and still get close, kind of close right there at parallel. And uh, that felt pretty good. I was happy with that. Again, not going to get many contests, but I'm competing with myself. And uh, still, it don't matter where you go on a squat, you're going to get a good workout. It don't matter how far down you go. So uh, we're going to do one more set of, of uh, 365. I felt froggy, guys. I felt, like I said, I felt pretty good going into this. My back, everything felt good. I felt strong. Of course, my shoulder's killing me there holding the weight, but that's just part of it. But, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Well, guys, I hope I give you some, some uh, inspiration to work out or do some sort of activities and try to be healthy inside and out and be consistent, persistent, and have a passion for it. That way you'll continue doing it forever. And don't forget, that don't do what I did with my left hand. Do it with the right. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Stupid left hand. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!